<laughs> oh, great stuff, was that? Well, I'm delighted to be able to tell you that that film will very, very, very shortly be seen on television. Now, our special guest today is someone who, in the very early days of his career, worked on those Will Hay films. He's done lots and lots of things since then, but everybody knows him now as one of the stars of the world-famous Carry On series. I know you're going to be delighted to meet Charles Hawtrey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, young man. <laughs> Hello, young man. Isn't that Thank a lovely you. opening? <laughs> yes. Charles, you were a pretty young man, if you were in those Will Hay films. Is that how you started in films? No. I was eight years old. Yes. In those days, it was called the infant school. It's now called primary. So you mean you were in films actually before the Will Hay film? Yeah. Oh, silent. Tell you something, you've been the cause of all, an awful lot of trouble many, many times in the Carry On films. What was the one called about the policeman? A carry on constable. Hello. Hello, Gorse. Sorry I'm late, Sergeant, but I just couldn't leave home without bringing something bright and gay for the poor indisposed constable. So, it was off to my greenhouse, and with a little snip here, a little snip there, snip, snip, and here we are with my love. Oh, what have I said? With my very best floral greetings. <laughs> Thank you, you must do something with that. Now then, as you weren't strictly on duty at the time of the crime, we'll forget about it. A crime? Oh, goody. Where? Well, you see, I was going down there. I didn't forget about it. I want you to meet Special Constable Gorse. Benson? How do you do? Him? How do you do? Potter? How do you do? <laughs> and how do you do? And now you must all meet Bobby, my budgie. Say hello, Bobby. Hello, hello Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Isn't he the greatest thing? I just couldn't leave him behind. Yes, well, uh... Of course, he'll be working full-time with us as from today on account of this flu trouble. You'll all sleep together. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, that was a, a marvellous combination of people, uh, I thought, in the carry-on pictures always. But, of course, you work with some of the great comedians in this... You know, the great sort of musical comedians, if you like, really, didn't you, in films? Well, I didn't want to mention that. <laughs> well, of course, you worked with Will Hay. Any, any other of uh, those? Yes, Will Fife. Oh, yeah. That's another Will. Mm -hmm. uh, George Hornby. Oh, you worked with George Hornby, yeah? Max Miller. Well, yeah. when you... How did the, the Carry On film series come, come about in the first place? I think uh, everyone would be interested in that. Right. Uh, well, you know we worked for um, a bread ticket. <laughs> yes, I know. It was very small money at the beginning. And I don't it? eat much bread. <laughs> for that. That's why you're so slim. All right. Uh, the first ones were made and nobody would take it. Really? This is true, because I was in the first one. Mm. It was called Carry On Sergeant. Mm. Um, it was an idea of Peter Rogers. Mm. Um, he's quite a clever fella. Mm. He didn't write it, but he had the idea. Mm. Okay, uh, so he um, hawked it around. Nobody would take it. He eventually went to two gentlemen. That's an old-fashioned word, isn't it? Mm. Have you ever met gentlemen? <laughs> well, God, I haven't met, except it's a sign on the door. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, no, honestly. Um, anyway, he went to Anglo Amalgamated. That was the name of the distributing company, and they took it. What happened? He made a fortune. That's right. How many carry ons were there all together, actually, John? Oh, you mean that I was there? Yeah. Mm. 24. Incredible. And then I said, thank you, no. No more for you? No. Charles, it's been terrific to see you. Isn't it marvelous to see a legend in amongst us talking to us, eh? Don't you think? Yeah? <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.